Om Shanti, welcome to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within, and we are going to talk about the 354 day of Kali blessing, where God is trying to help us see that what good wishes can bring in our life for self and for others. Let's explore this blessing with the heading. So the heading goes like this. May you be full of good wishes and experience the avyakt stage. Avyakt means something which is not of this world. That means angelic stage. Feeling lighter like an angel. By finishing all opposing feelings. Let's explore this. The basis of the flying stage. Flying stage means feeling lighter in our mind and being able to meditate. Or the falling stage. Falling stage means something which is heavier obviously falls down on earth, right? So if the mind is heavy we fall down in our problems. The basis of the flying stage or the falling stage in life is two things. What is the basis? Feelings and intention. They decide whether we are flying up or we are falling down. Having the benevolent feelings for everyone. Having benevolent feelings for everyone. Feelings of being loving and cooperative. Feelings of increasing courage and enthusiasm of others. Feelings of soul consciousness and feelings of belonging. Now, if we are soul conscious, automatically, even if a person doesn't belong to any particular religion, caste, creed, city, language, color, we still have that soul, irrespective of the physical features, physical attributes, physical connections, bodily names, and many more things which are soul, not soul conscious, but body conscious. So God says, without having any kind of body consciousness, whether that person is your own relative or not your own relative, whether that person has done something bad with your relatives, said something wrong about you, but you are still cooperative, still loving, still benevolent, God wants us to become like that. Only then our karmic accounts will be absolved. So when God says, these are all good wishes. So sending good wishes is not just praying for somebody but having loving thoughts towards others having benevolent thoughts towards others even if they have done something wrong to you God says increasing courage and enthusiasm of others even if they put you down but you tell them or you pray for them or you encourage them to move ahead in life to grow in life even if they pull you down so God wants us to become like that those who have such feelings can stabilize in the avic stage. That means those souls will be feeling lighter in their mind. They won't have any kind of complications in their mind. They won't have too many differentiating thoughts in their minds towards different people, different people of different caste, creed, religion and everything else. So God says, make yourself lighter by being soul conscious. Then you'll be able to fly higher and be connected to God Father. So God says, those who have such feelings can stabilize in the avic stage, that means angelic stage. If your feelings oppose these, cross feelings will pull you. So if your feelings are towards other people on the basis of whether it's a property conflict, whether it's a financial conflict, whether it's a conflict of religion, whether it's a conflict of any other aspect, then those thoughts will pull you down, God says. Remove those conflicts. The main reason for obstacles are those opposing feelings. So people in a life or people obviously create situations in a life and those situations come, come through people. Why? Because of our feelings towards them. So even if we don't say something to other people, but we know that through this knowledge that our thoughts are being carried over and those feelings carry over to the other soul whomsoever we are thinking about in our mind and those vibrations reach those people even if we have not spoken about them to others but our thoughts reach them and then if they are not pure thoughts, benevolent thoughts then those souls become obstacles in our life or they do something in our life which is bad for us so how do we not let this thing happen? that's what we learn at Brahma Kumaris and Brahma Kumaris Godly Spiritual University where you learn the 7 day course and you learn a lot of knowledge in that so with this, have a blessed good night, Om Shanti.